Good morning. We're back out and about. Mm -hmm. We actually left the room for the first time. No, we did We did go out a little bit yesterday, didn't we? Um, something different today. We're going to go to the Orlando Cat Cafe. It's literally over there. We we're a little bit early, so we just went for it to open. And then we might go to Lake Louisa State Park. So we're in a proper little, um, little adventure today, aren't we? And then we might go back to International Drive and have a few beers. Because mm -hmm. we have not done that yet really proper no we haven't we've not done a, a full-on pub pub crawl maybe we could do um yard house or something today i don't know yeah we'll see where that part of the day takes us uh but yeah let's go and see some kitty cats shall we and apparently this so this this cat cafe unlike the one we've been to in liverpool where it's like kind of like they're all their own cats this cat cafe you it's can it's part, partnered with the spca so yeah. you can actually adopt the cats in so the if you see a cat you like you just bag it up and take it. No, I'm sure it doesn't work like that. But uh, you know, you can then start the process to rehome it. Obviously, that doesn't work for people from the UK, but they do welcome guests, and it is a cafe. So hopefully, we can get a nice cup of coffee, sit down, stroke some muggies. We're in the cat uh, cafe now. Yep. Surrounded by youngsters. Look. <laughs> this one. This one is loving the toys. So this is uh, $10 for an hour, uh, drinks are additional. You go into the cat, there's a little cafe next door, they'll bring drinks through for you. Um, and as we mentioned earlier, all the cats can be rehomed. Re and they're all very young and playful. <laughs> Sign up there, 2,303 cats adopted since 2016. And there is a, a name board up there as well. Look at this little one. Puss. <laughs> Someone sniffing around my foot as well, don't you? We've made a little friend here. I did. I called. I tried to get this cat's attention here, and this one, that one, came running. You got a little tripod kitty. He's so playful as well. Sorry, she. G. Red coloured for female, blue for male. <laughs> Little one's the most act active. SPCA facility as well. That they work with. And lots and lots of places for cats to climb as well. I kind of want to do this with our walls. <laughs> There's some names. Mango. Bobby Birch. Oh, wow. coming up with names must be half the fun. I think Marissa might be the one we were just playing with, with the, the tripod situation. And Kingston is the grey one. The funny part is we could play with them with the toys, but they seem to prefer just playing on their own. <laughs> tripod cat in this play as well. She's so cute, she is, she's very cheeky. <laughs> the whole time? Yeah. I think there's about three, four cats in here that I'm quite happy with their going straight away, no question. But... It's just lovely watching them play together, isn't it? 
You're pretty too. Oh, you're sweet. This is the trick we come here because we know we can't adopt any of them because the temptation doesn't get the better of us. Can I play for a little bit, sweetie? where the counter is, pull the picture down. <laughs> Making some friends down here, Jem. Yeah. And if you, are, if you do live in the area and you want to come and adopt a cat, all these cats are <laughs> neutered, chipped and good to go. You don't need to worry about any of that stuff. This is why we re we always rehome cats rather than getting them from breeders. And the nice thing is because they've been in here, they're all socialised, so they're all you know you know you're getting a good, playful, friendly cat. And Gemma made a good point as well. They're all cat friendly because there's 29 of them in here. You know, let me have the toy back. Hmm. I might be able to smell other cats on that, there's a possible chance. You're a young man, aren't you? You're cheeky. Which <laughs> <laughs> those paws, mister? It's my fault, playing with you, and then trying to pet you. <laughs> sniffing me, sniffing my shoe, aren't you? Always the black cat. See whiskers under this chair. <laughs> Little tabby. No standard issue cat. <laughs> She's pretty as well. <laughs> oh, she likes playing with it on the floor, I think. In a minute, she's tired herself out. I think. Nope, she's not quite tired herself out. No. Oh, she's getting 
beautiful eyes. Oh, you got a bit of a sneeze. This little one wants to see what's in the, the paper bag. There's nothing in there, but she's like, Ooh, it's for me. Curiosity. Yeah. I think this is our favourite. She's been playing here most of the hour. And now she's eating Gemma's back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have little Marissa teeth marks in my backpack. Yeah. But that's fine. So you are in the area. Come and adopt Marissa. She's in there. Yeah. Also, Corn here is a good cat too. He's very gentle and he's also very playful. And when they're like this, all fast asleep, you leave them alone. Do you pinch my seat? Did you enjoy the cat pepper? It, it was lovely that, yeah. Really enjoyed it though. And that's, we've only done a couple of them, but that's the easily the, by far the best one, just because it was young shallow cats that you can rehome. So if you're interested in doing that, it's on the 27th. If you go to right to the west end of 192 and just head north, it's the first little bit, little town that you come to just after after that. There's just a little town square here, it's really cute. Uh, and yeah, you just go into the coffee shop next door and then buy a ticket and you can go through to see the cats. Yeah, I, think it was, I think I said it was $10 for adults, it's uh, 8 for kids. But, but I would suggest if you want to do that, get on the website and pre-book it because we were quite lucky because it's early morning but they were starting to get quite busy as the afternoon went on apparently the next session only had four slots free for walk-ups because obviously they, they can't have loads of people in there with it being the kitty cats but yeah it was good fun wasn't it mm -hmm. it was very good what are we doing next lake louise or something yeah we're going to go and see uh state park now so we'll catch up with you when you get there and when we get there it's just north of it now this place does have its own well, this area does have its own car park as well. Head north toward And um, as I mentioned, there's a little town here. That's it's part of it. Too. Yeah, it is. Anyway, I'm going to put the phone down because I've got to drive. Pulled in at Lake Louisa State Park. A lot of the state parks are like £5 entry per vehicle. So there's a little gate house. I think that's fine. Yeah, it's for parking. Like, yeah. Like toilets and stuff like that, isn't it? So we're going to have a little walk around here. We've got some water with us. Probably not head too far, but we'll, we'll, we'll check it out and see what it looks like. We could rent a canoe. We could rent a canoe. I just asked the guy, where are we parking? He was like, well, we've got seven miles of asphalt, 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 whatever. Asphalt. Tarmac. <laughs> well, I think the choice is ours. <laughs> there's loads of places. Oh, there's like one, two, three, four, like six lakes. Okay. So it's... Doodly. Doodly. So we'll just, we'll just explore and see where we end up. First lake you come across is Dixie Lake. Dixie Lake. Yeah. They've literally just arrived here and the deer just walked across the road right next to us. <laughs> We've driven down to let the Lake Louisa Park. There's lots like what's that five or seven lakes, did you say? Yeah, but the flag. Yeah, there's loads of places to explore here, as the uh, the guy on the, the gate said. And there's multiple trails to walk. You can cycle, camp, horse ride. And we just saw a deer. And we just saw a deer here, which is a good start. I managed to catch the deer on video. Oh, did you? Yeah. The cat. <laughs> I was turning the camera on, trying to get the thing to work before the deer walked off. As you can hear as well, you're right in the thick of the wildlife here. Oh, I haven't got any on, that's a good idea. Things I always forget, Oxbra. So I 
know that web. Oh yeah. Probably can't see it on the camera. There's a big old weaver spider just in the middle. Of... It's just like our garden spiders, isn't it? Yeah. With the web. Mm. It's like a little there. It's like our garden. Mm. Yeah, so this was like a last minute decision. We, we weren't even planning to come here. We've been here like five minutes and it's a mess. It's another one of those people asking you why you keep coming to Florida. Because it's just theme parks. Well, yeah, that's another theme park and it's amazing. Tell I'm going to go on the swings. Like a repeat of pipeline again. <laughs> Very brackish water. Oh, it's beautiful. So I believe this is one of the few lakes you can actually swim in. I'm gonna pass. Yeah, me too. The reviews online said it was like swimming in hot tea. And it does look like tea. So we've backtracked just a little bit onto the car park. And one of the trails starts here. We probably won't walk the whole thing, but there's like a three and a half mile nature trail here. It's called the nature trail. <laughs> wow, these are proper difficult to <laughs> see them, the actual path. For the trees. We're going to end up with a face full of spider if I'm not careful. Bugs are flying around my ears already. We can definitely hear something here. Was he blowing away? Could that be a bobcat? I don't think it'd be making that much noise if it was. I think it's probably sounds like a small hawk or something. Young stuff. It could be anything though. We're not really familiar with the wildlife here, so it's just making a whole lot of noise, which is generally not something a predator would do. Well, whatever it was, there's another one in the woods over there as well. Red shouldered hawk in here. Near a lot of bugs as well. Oh, we're certainly getting our first share of a knolls here. Yeah, Got the butterflies. I thought maybe hawk because when I was in the UK, you get buzzards sometimes and they're sitting trees and have a grumble. and all is guiding us. <laughs> all the paths have got numbers. The map they gave you, if you come in here and you've never been, you can get a map at the entrance, it's free. And, uh, not free including, included in your parking fee, I guess. And uh, that has all the trails marked on it. My bird identifying app listens to bird calls in the area and it said we found a grey cat bird. Gemma's seen something in the trees here. <laughs> we definitely don't want to find any of them. Nope. Eastern Diamondback Rattler. I've lost it now. Oh no. Oh, there it goes. The tree there. I use this app called Merlin Bird Identifier and it listens through your phone's microphone and it tells you what it thinks birds it can hear in the area. So it thinks we've found a grey cat bird and a blue grey nap catcher. So we think the bird we saw was the cat bird. So I've just got a bird, uh, Google up with the pictures. And we also have picked up the sound of a red-tailed hawk. I'm assuming there's that screaming noise back Yeah, there. it could be. 
epiphytes called ur plants because they get all the water and nutrients from the ur, sun and rain. Use trees for support but do not depend on them for food. Bromeliads, wild pine, onion, orchids, resurrection fern and Spanish moss. Mmm. More beds. I just set this off again, it's found a red bellied woodpecker. I guess the Merlin thing's possibly not 100% accurate, but I mean, it works quite well in the UK because I've, I've identified birds in the UK that I know the calls of and I've seen that that got it right as well. It's pretty cool. And the Northern Cardinal, it's picking up now. And we can see them flying up in the trees ahead of us. So here the bird identifier has picked up a tufted titmouse. This is definitely a bird tree. We find that we tend to find in, in the UK as well like one tree will just be lifting with different birds and in this case is this one. So we're gonna do about half the nature trail. This is and we'll head back to the car from there, maybe just to see if we can find another place to park and have a look. So it has a, a lake, it? Yeah, there's lots of lots of lakes here and Presumably they'll all have a bit of parking fairly nearby. It's a good job we didn't just park at the entrance. <laughs> it's like the funny thing about this place is that we, we feel like we're on a proper adventure. Out in the, in the middle of nowhere and then some people just walk past, they were walking the dogs. <laughs> it's like just a daily thing for them. It's like us going to Hay Hall or something or Crocs Park. Apart from there might be a rattlesnake or a bobcat, yeah. All that Disney uh, Magic Kingdom burr. We said good morning to uh, the dog walkers who didn't question the fact that we look like we're dressed up for an expedition. That's a different lizard, didn't look like a brown and all. Is it a green and all? It wasn't green. <laughs> it was there. It's in track over That's through the woods. Faster, yeah. yeah. I can just look at footprints here. Something wet into the woods over there. Oh, yeah. There is a bit of a trail there though, it could be. I don't see hu uh, like human footprints though, just animal prints. What is it? Can you see claw more? Probably going to be deer. It doesn't anything. look like deer. It's got toes, look. Jump, jump. Mm, I jump. mean, it could have been, yeah, that, that, that actually could be a big paw print that. Yeah. It could have been dogs because there's been people walking dogs, dogs here. And, the yeah, but the, the dogs are on extended leads, they might go exploring. But there's a you don't want your dogs exploring because there's snakes and that crap. Yeah. Could be something interesting. But we aren't going to see it now, it's too bright in the, in, in the day. It's nice though, it's exciting to think it could be like a bobcat or something at night. <laughs> Come on, kitty. You're walking along with it. Cricket or something there. It's an easy flyer. Yeah. There it goes again. I mean, it could fly off to the side, but no, it's walking with us. No Genie Plus, no Fast Passes, no Dining Resident versions. No roller coasters. I don't think we've done three miles. I think we cut uh, cut our trail down just a little bit because we can walk all over the way over the other side, but it's a little too warm to walk too far. Without the uh, bit of a fresh air break in the car. <laughs> Can't do any uh, sort of B-roll, you know, Gemma just wandering by. Like a nice uh, like professional vlogger because she'll have to stick a tongue out at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that was just me panting because it's so hot. Yeah. <laughs> well, the exercise equipment here. I definitely can't pull up though. Not strong enough. I couldn't even swing. <laughs> Need to do some exercise, don't I? Wow, there's a big spider. Where? There. Oh yeah, look at that, that's a crack. Big, that is a big old weaver. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but in the trees there, above us, there's a big old weaver. 
completely harmless. Yeah, hard weavers won't hurt you. They just look a bit freaky. Yeah, because they're like, they look like the spiders. So I'm, I've lost it now, can you see it? Oh, there it is. Um, they look like the spiders from Jumanji when they're stuck in the floor. Yeah. The way that they're like jointed. That was a good spot. And if you're worried about it getting you, you it's move. nowhere near the path. Well, they also don't move. Yeah, they'll just sit there all day. They can wildlife so she smells them out from there. Yeah. Oh. Oh wow, it's a woodpecker. Beautiful. We found some cardinals as well. while we can hear the woodpecker chatter. In fact, I can see the other woodpecker, it's there up the tree. Oh, yeah. We'll have a quick look at it. Apart from she just flew off. Oh. And some mushrooms as well. Won't be mushroom left on there or anything else on the trail. Oh, yeah. Always got to get a mushroom gagging. You want to climb up the steps up on this one? I'm Step up from the smallest to the longest log. Sorry, our acnophobes. While we're not doing the step up logs, there is a beautiful orb weaver behind there in yellow and black. Cactus out here as well. So from that, that footprint we saw was a bobcat's footprint, mm -hmm. and it did out look like it had photos. Yes, like it, it was did. wide, it had... wide, and yeah, it not a like cat. a dog's paw print. It definitely wasn't here. Mm. Well, I mean, we can't say for sure, certain, but that's kind of exciting. Because we've always wanted to see a bobcat. We aren't likely to see one. Uh, we're very unlikely to see one, but to see tracks from one's cool. There's deer print. Oh yeah. It's a pointy mm -hmm. deer print. See even better there. The deer must have walked down here, but we did see one on the car park, so we know there's a bit of rest on the ride. You do have to be careful heading off the trails because that's where the spiders potentially are, but there aren't any trees here, so we can have a quick sneaky look. There's a turtle in this hole here then. Oh. A tortoise just ran out of that hole and into this one. Emma missed it, but I just spotted it run over. There's a massive bee there as well. You enjoy your walk? Yeah, it's lovely. It was good, wasn't it? I think this is my favourite of the um, state parks. I mean, okay. Blue Springs I enjoyed because of the manatees. manatees, but just the the walking around here is nice and we saw lots of cool birds and a, a deer. And a deer? And what I think was a tortoise. Well, I just say there's tortoises here, yeah. so. It moved quick though, so I was wondering if it, it might do, be a lot slower. They? Yeah. They're not slow. They can shift when they want to. Yes, I was wondering if it might be having an aardvark. That'd be a long oh, shot. That's when I meant an armadillo. Oh, <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. This is where the deer came across earlier. Probably through here, actually. Probably headed over to the yeah, distance over there cool. somewhere. The fly just flew past us. A fluttermide butterfly. <laughs> Those are nice markings. Like a very, very orange head. Mm -hmm. We're back at the truck. 
we just called up to another little lake called Burr Lake. There's a little boating lake, I think. There's only a couple of spots for parking, so I'm not expecting to see a huge amount here, but it's all part of the same area. And it was, an, it was a chance to use the four-wheel drive on the truck, because, you know, why not? Three butterflies flying together. This is the boat ramp to the lake. <laughs> it is literally just the boat ramp and then a lake. <laughs> this one might not be a ideal to walk on, on foot on. Walk down just a little ways and see what we can see. I hope a gator doesn't come in at the bushes next to us. Yeah, the view is fantastic. But I think I've gone as far as I want to go. There's a spider web going across as well. Okay, so we're going to make one more stop here. We're going to go to Dixie Lake, which is apparently where all the camping grounds is. So there might be uh, somewhere we can sit down for I mean, we can sit there if we wanted to. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful little butterfly thing. And the flower oh, yeah. there. All these flowers here are lifting with butterflies. It's very quiet here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. If anyone asks, we didn't drive the uh, truck off road at all. I think it's the first time it's probably seen any terrain. There's only a little dirt trail, that's fine. And well, now we're at the last stop off on our little trip, which I think is called Lake Dixie. Just watch out for alligators. The kissing bugs are about now, by the way. Not loads of them, but you know, if you've been off already. May or September, you'll know what I mean. This is good, um, good gator water. They like the brackish water. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> and you can camp here, Gemma said. It was, what is it, five? 5.50 a night. But just your, um, your pitch. What they like to call primitive camping. Yeah. Yeah. You bring right. your tent down. There's also cabins. You can see some of the cabins over the back there, I think. Yeah, the cabins around Dixie Lake. I mean, I could see myself doing that once in the future. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Mm hmm. Again, something different. Yeah. My stomach has just indicated it's almost lunchtime. Oh, is that your stomach? <laughs> this is beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. We've hit, hit peak kissing bug. Yeah, <laughs> They're everywhere, they're near. <laughs> They're completely harmless, don't worry. And they're just torture. Yeah. I know they're completely harmless. I just, I just don't want them all over me. Especially not when they fly next to your ear. Kiss all. I also try to park under a tree for shade, but I think only about a quarter of the truck's in, in shade. And you do tend to come back with bits of tree all over the car as well. And we are back at the resort. This straightforward trip back. The tour of the 192 got cut up by someone on the i4, as is the standard. We are going to have a rest, a little freshen up, then we're going to head out on the i drive, onto i drive, get some beers on. Fantastic day, really enjoyed it today. Um, we're actually thinking of going back to the cat cafe for an hour on our last day just because we enjoyed it so much. 
was so chill. Oops. Yeah, sorry, I startled Gemma with a beeper. And to be honest, I don't even think I need to press the beeper. I think it's just, it locks straight away. We had a couple of light ales while we waited for um, the security to come and open our safe because apparently it wouldn't open. And oof, <laughs> oof, that's rolled in. <laughs> it's just pure airs there where the rain's coming. Um, we're definitely going out today though, we aren't staying in, even if we get soaked walking across our drive in a poncho, we're going out. We believe after about five it's going to clear from, for this area given Gemma keeps an eye on the radar. Yeah, so apparently if you see error one on here it's because you've put stuff too far forward and it stops the mechanism from working. Apparently. <laughs> so we had to get a security guy to come and help us. But he sorted it fairly quickly. Can we get to the truck and get the ponchos before it comes over this way? Nope, it's raining. <laughs> oh, she left him. Well, we've made it out onto our drive with minimal rain. Although, you never know. <laughs> yeah, we did. Uh, it, it did, yeah. There's still some rain on the seat for the bus next to us here. Uh, we're going to head up towards the Icon Park, maybe go to Yard House. Get a few afternoon beverages. Well, it's getting on for five o'clock now, isn't it? Yeah, five o'clock. Yeah, I haven't checked my watch, so I have no idea what time it is. It? Miller's isn't too busy. Oh, yeah, Gem, Gem, we've given up on Gemma's watch. The face kept falling off. So I think the glue had failed on the, uh, the face of it, so we might be able to fix it when we get home. Uh, check out the occasional vlog to find out whether we do. <laughs> Don't trust that the face isn't going to fall off and damage it even more while it like, just slides side yeah. to side, doesn't it? So. You, your watch has picked a good time to die because the new versions of the Smart Samsung watches no, just no, came no. out and the last gen version is like on sale so we can probably pick another one up if it doesn't, do it's not fit to me. It's uh, safe to say one of the reasons why we haven't done a lot of walking on our drive of late has been the heat. But today it's really cooled down, so I guess there's a chance to get out and have a bit of a hike. Yeah, yeah. We've only been to Miller's once. Yeah. <laughs> well, we attempted we're once as well. New yeah. We're trying to eat in new places, so we're going to go to the yard house where we've been twice before. Once, but only for drinks. Once, only for drinks. We've only ever eaten here once. And that was like 2017. 17, 17, yeah. First night on our 2017 trip. That was six years ago. <laughs> One thing I do like when our destination is the Icon Park is we always know exactly where to go because <laughs> of that tower. <laughs> that tower that I can never remember the that name. That tower that I can never remember the name of, yes. What do you used to call it? I, just, I, just, I have no idea. You think of it a stupid name? The Space Tower, I don't know. No, I can't remember. The Star something, the Star something is the call. Yeah. The Star Flyer. Update on the Taj Mahal. It is. Oh, open. yeah. The first day we thought the Taj Mahal Indian was closed. It's not, apparently. <laughs> A lot of that box still is closer. Yeah. Because well, <laughs> well, there's bargains, that's why. Two two tangos uh, bumping. Content tidying me. And there's the old classic high ride trolley. We used to get them every time, didn't we? Before we rented a car, we would do the whole holiday using those trolleys to get between yep. SeaWorld, the outlets, and not so much Universal, we'd yeah, use the, uh, the the hotel transport. Right? There's another one just gone past now as well. Well, they're a lot of the, you know, better than the other Yeah, I think they have improved, apparently, late, rare, late, lately, because they've got some new coaches in. Rather than the themed one, they've got, like, proper coach. Well, We've just got normal coaches coming up and down occasionally. But we're actually at the um, 
I come back now. I have to pause because I always call it the i360 or the Orlando <laughs> i. It's had more names. It's unbelievable. So There's a star flyer going on. <laughs> and now I can't remember what I did used to call it. I can remember what it is actually called. Anyone else had to stop while walking along here just to see if the eye's spinning? Because sometimes it looks like it's completely stationary. Yeah, Jem did make a good point then that it, maybe it does stop to let like disabled people in. And prams. Like prams and wheelchairs and things. Hmm. Nice carousel here, yeah. Brother Jimmy's. Right. There you go. If you've got youngsters, get over to Brother Jimmy's. But as promised, our destination is an old favourite, the Yard House, for reasons which will become obvious. So here's why we came in here. These are the local beers, the beers they love, the Yard House beers, the collabs. IPAs, seasonal rotating fruit, light, crisp and refreshing, wheat, brown stout, multi amber cider, seltzer, gluten removed, strong. Yeah. Cocktails, wines. And they got Maduro on. Yeah. There, there's the bar with all the, set, the taps. Should keep us busy for a little while. And all the barrels are kept up there as well. Also, I have to say, and I'm, I'm really bad at this. I never ask people's names, but someone came to say hello to us outside of the yard. It's lovely catching up with you. I know you have a fantastic rest of your trip as well. We've had a few people come on this trip and say hello, and it's always been lovely. Everyone we've said hello to has been really nice, haven't we? Yes, they have, yeah. So, yeah, thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Beers straight up. We've got a uh, yard house IPA, and Gemma got the strawberry blonde beer. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. Fairly certain we sat in exactly this spot or one over from this spot when we first visited here in 2017. We were originally sat over on the big tall tables over there and they moved us down here. And they're like, oh, we're very sorry. I'm like, nope, it's fine by us. Nice private booth in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Food has arrived. I went all. I, I went for the um, 10 ounce bone in ribeye. Was it 10? 20 ounce bone in ribeye with mash and broccoli. And Gemma went for, what was this? Uh, spicy beef garlic noodles. Looks really good. The results speak for themselves. The noodles are really tasty. There's so I would... many though. So yeah, much good. every time Gemma pulled up noodles, beef fell out. <laughs> Fantastic food. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. Three Mavins and Belaga. That's solid. That's a good, that's a good fall, that one. That's nice. What's this one? It's blue box. No, not my boy. Blue. It's a blueberry. <laughs> Four as well. Four. Wow. Epic sound. Try for tasting beer. Makes it hard to drink though. Good. It's uh, the house wheat beer, very thirsty. This place gets, um, they know that beer drinkers like to come in here because they're like, they're not like, once you've had your food, put your check down and off you go. It's like, do you want more beers? Yes. <laughs> We've got a very good server, like, she knows that menu inside out. She yeah. asks us, she's like, We've not got that, but what about this? Yeah, and then she came and back later came and back went, and yeah. Like, actually, we did have that one I told you we did them so Yeah, she, we found a cake. That's wrote really well, hasn't it? Yeah. So tonight we didn't get a bill to show you, and we may be able to show an email. Yeah, but ultimately it was about 150. Um, I picked a $40 entry, entree, so it was a you know, more expensive meal. And we've had like, what? We did get the happy hour discount. Oh, we did. So we got some happy hour discounts. And it was still that expensive. We had a lot of beer, let's just say that. <laughs> so including tip, it ended up coming up at $162. But we've been here for like two, three hours and had many beers. Many beers. <laughs> I'll tell you what, 
if you wander over and say hello to us at this point of our trip when we're completely smashed on beer from Yardos. I apologise in advance. <laughs> we had good times though, did you enjoy it? Yeah. Oh, train coming. I don't know where he's going. We've stood long enough to confirm that the wheels turn. <laughs> right, I uh, think you've had enough of our drunkenness for tonight. So we will uh, catch up with you tomorrow when we are going to try to remember what we did tonight. No, uh, we're going to Bush Gardens tomorrow. <laughs> you had a good day? Very good day. Me too. One of the best, I think. Yeah, it's been good mm -hmm. fun. So we'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Pour one out for Tony Rose.